Think you can spot the psychopath? To answer that question, I've gathered these 11 people. 10 of them are normal, but one of them is a psychopath. My name is Eli. Hey, I'm Jay. And I'm not. I am not. And I am not. I am not a psychopath. These guys will have five rounds to ask each other questions and try to sniff out who's the psychopath. I think they're still here with us. Both of them are so unbelievably sus. I was, I was just curious. Have you lied today? What? No way. Good luck to you guys. All right. Rebecca, welcome back. Rebecca is an actual psychologist who's gonna help us know what to look for as we try to find the actual psychopath here. After five rounds of the psychopath is still among them, they lose. And it turns out spotting a psychopath isn't as easy as we might think, which is scarier in some way. Oh, what the f Josh, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> Why is my girlfriend in there? I don't know, bro. She's kind of sus. This is scary. She's not a psychopath. There's no way that she's a psychopath. But on the off chance that she is. No. <laughs> Just to be clear, guys, if you're not a psychopath, you need to answer these questions as honestly as possible. However, the psychopath is allowed to lie as much as they want. All right, guys, round one starts now. You have five minutes. My name's Ramsey. And I'm not a psychopath because I just don't feel like it. Yo, what's up, y'all? My name is Akadaj AK. I'm not a psychopath because I just got way too much to do. This guy can't think of one reason why he's not a psychopath, so I'm sus with him already. My name's Jay. Okay. Uh, are, are we we're continuing? I haven't gone yet. Oh. Hi, my name is Eli. I am not a psychopath because just got a clear head uh, on my shoulders. When Jay started to speak before Eli got to speak, you could see Eli kind of get a, a look on his face. I did not notice this. Money's on Eli. I'm Jay, and I'm not a psychopath because I'm often hired as a public speaker. That feels like a psychopath like, job, right? Yeah. Because I grew up with great parents. I'm Hope. Could Hope be a psychopath? I'm not a psychopath because I'm just a regular girl next door. It's a horrible <laughs> answer. Horrible answer, Hope. I'm Chris. I'm not a psychopath because I work as a teacher. I am not a psychopath because I'm not on any medication because I just don't think I am. I don't think either of these girls are psychopaths. They're too nice and yeah, smiley and friendly. Even if you're on medication, that's not a bad thing. Because I have other mental illness, but not that one. Because I spend time around people willingly. So I'm curious why you were late. Me? Yeah. And you walked in from over there and it just kind of threw me off. I was going to ask that too. Are we just supposed to pretend that she wasn't <laughs> was with us the whole <laughs> I just had a couple of things I needed to... Um, they had her out of the room so that they could surprise me, but now it's causing this giant ripple effect where they think that she's the psychopath. You want to, like, tell us what those things were? Or it was, like, personal? It's personal stuff. Okay. All right, time's up. I want each of you guys to step forward and vote on who you think is the psychopath. Now, I did a little bit of research, and it turns out we don't call psychopaths psychopaths anymore. Is that right? That's correct. It's ASPD. Uh, I feel like the word psychopath gets thrown out a lot and used as derogatory when, you know, this is a personality disorder and these people are still people. They just happen to have a little glitch in their matrix. Oh my gosh. Hope. We got you, you crazy lady. <laughs> Bye, guys. Yeah. Two at the end. How long's your average uh, romantic relationship last? A year and a month. I've never been in a romantic relationship. Hmm, interesting. Why is this important? Because people that um, have antisocial personality disorder are not able to keep relationships. Question for you guys. Has there ever been a movie that made you cry? Uh, full on like bawling? No, I don't think so. It definitely brought like tears to my eyes and like had me in my feels. How to Train Your Dragon 3. Edward's sus, bro. Moulin Rouge? I have no idea what that is. Um, Bambi. Bambi. Oh, I don't trust her. King Kong. King Kong? Yeah, it's emotional. Uh, Land Before Time. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's laughing except Eli. Did you see that? <laughs> Schindler's List. That's a weird answer. It's Annie when I was a little kid, uh, oh. when she's on the fire truck. Adam Sandler's <laughs> click. What? All right, he's freaking hilarious, I'll say it. Eli's off my naughty list. That was maybe the most psychopath answer he could have had. I cried watching New Year's Eve. Any childhood Disney movie where they murder all the parents and then the kid grows up, so. Have you ever been arrested? I got pulled over for DUI, I blew under, but they still arrested me. I blew a .07. I got a wet and reckless for it coming home from work. I have not been arrested. We're asking this question because one of the top traits of a psychopath is somebody who often breaks rules, has no regard for the law. Right? Yeah, and very impulsive. It doesn't know right and wrong. I haven't been arrested, but was put in a drunk tank in Whistler, Canada for public intoxication. This guy just has a good time. Lots of high school caggers. I have underage drinking all the way. I have not been arrested. I have not been arrested either. I have not been arrested. I have not been arrested. Nope. All right, time's up. I want each of you guys to step forward and tell me who you think is the psychopath. 
All right, who are you voting for? I have suspicions about Edward, and I have suspicions about Valerie, and I have suspicions about Eli. Eli. Look at Eli rubbing his hands together. Okay, so we tied. So basically, we don't know. Edward, I'm gonna give you one minute to plead your case on why you're not a psychopath. Yeah. We're okay, come up with one reason. Other than not? But me? I don't know. All right, Eli? Um, why am I not a psychopath? Gigantic, got a good head on my shoulders, good sense of self, but um, I'm kind of at a loss as well. Both of them are so unbelievably sus. All right, Eli and Edward, I want you guys to look down. If you think Edward is a psychopath, raise your hand. And to confirm if you think Eli is the psychopath, raise your hand. <laughs> Hell of a journey. <laughs> Get him out of there! All right, raise your hand if you guys think you have eliminated the psychopath so far. Eliminated the psychopath? Mm, I don't know, possibly. So Eli's out of the picture. Rebecca, out of who's left here, what are we thinking? I feel like I'm leaning towards Edward. He didn't plead his case. Oh no. And then the question about relationships. I've never been in a romantic relationship. Is just suspect for sure. All right guys, we're moving on to round three. Someone can start with a question if they want. So let's say I came to you guys, right? And I was crying about my boyfriend breaking up with me. How would you guys help me? Having a sister, I would jump right in and say my answer is french fries and ice cream. What kind of ice cream? You're the one crying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, like, honestly, like, you're better than him the whole time anyways. I feel like Valerie just turned this entire thing into a dating show. Hey, it's Friday night. Girls gotta get what girls gotta get. She's gonna get what she's gotta get. <laughs> uh, let you talk and get it out and vent and all that. I would say the same thing, Valerie. Like, I'm a really good listener, so I just do whatever you want. Like, you don't have to listen. <laughs> Ryan is a psycho, bro. My money's on Edward. Um, I have two questions for Tommy. You said you're in a relationship for a year. Why did y'all split up? Okay, well, I was really sick at the time, and then he also lived across the country, like was traveling back and forth. The second one was, when we all said we're not psychopaths, you said you have other illnesses. Do you want to like say what those are? An eating disorder. <laughs> oh, that was, the, that was the one? But I'm, but I'm in recovery. I have a question. But what's everybody's zodiac sign? Zodiac sign. Okay. This oh. is no science backing any of that. <laughs> I'm a Leo. I don't care. <laughs> I'm a cancer, but I just wanted to know. I was wondering if everybody has pets. <laughs> I have two dogs. Dogs. Um, their names are Snowbud and Mimi, Husky and uh, Rottweiler. Did you forget his dog's name? Yes. That's suspect. Ryan's psycho. Yeah. He just made that up. He doesn't have dogs. <laughs> yes. I don't, but I volunteer with dog rescue. Old. Gnarly and Pacer. I have no pets. Um, I have a cat. I can't have pets at my place, unfortunately. Have in the past, don't currently. Don't particularly want them. And he's acting like a psycho. There's like someone else controlling the ship in his brain. Did you say something's someone's in your brain? No, I said someone was in. You say somebody's controls brain. your brain. No, I didn't say that. I just want to say, um, Jay is the like person that I least expect. Ryan. What if Jay's been throwing us off this whole time? I feel like that was a psycho move. I'm gonna get every single vote. In. You just made me vote for me, by unless you're a phenomenal actor. All right, time's up. We've gone through three rounds of voting. They have, they have absolutely no idea who the psychopath is. All right, so we got a tie between Rose and Edward. If you think Rose is the psychopath, raise your hand. And if you think Edward is the psychopath, please raise your hand. Oh, wow. Edward's done. Wow. Defeated. Later. Guys, tell me about uh, your elimination process on Edward. That was a pretty unanimous vote. I just didn't think it was Rose. It just seems so sweet. I don't think it's Edward or Rose. You feel like you've already eliminated the psychopath? I think they're still here with us, amongst <laughs> us. <laughs> I feel like I know who it is. Same. What? Then why wouldn't you vote them out? <laughs> I know it's not Jay. I question everybody. Ryan just keeps throwing Jay out. It is actually really hard to tell who's not being transparent out there. Kind of like how businesses aren't transparent about how to save you money. Oh my God, that was a good transition. Fortunately, my favorite online shopping tool, Honey, searches for promo codes for a lot of your favorite websites that you're already using and automatically applies the discounts. It's like having a best friend who's always got your back, except with savings. Money, money, money. Whether you're shopping for clothes, video games, or trying to get some food delivered, Honey is always saving you money. It's free, it's fun, and you can start using it right now. All you have to do is add it to your browser for free by going to joinhoney.com slash house party. My fellow partiers, this is a brand new channel and Honey is cool enough to be making this video possible and taking a bet on us. So the best way to support these videos is by using the link in the description. Thank you guys, thank you, Honey. And let's see what's going on in the room here. All right, we're gonna go on to round four. I would love to start with a question on this one. What is your relationship like with your parents? So I'm a daddy's girl. I love my dad so much. Um, my mom's my best friend. I tell her everything. 
me and my mom are cool and then me and my dad are really rough but now I'm like seeing like how solid he is. Uh, I live two doors down from my mom so I see her every day. I talk to my dad like a couple times a week on FaceTime. My mom is my bestie. We get along very well. My dad and I, he's just like we'll call, talk on occasion but we're not super super close. Uh, we did have our little rough patch where I decided that I didn't want to be cookie cutter. She just didn't want to be cookie cutter. I'm a huge mama's boy. I talk to her at least three times a week. We watch the Oscars together. She's a, she's a mean old south side chick from Chicago. Um, my parents live in Jersey, where I'm originally from, so talk to them a lot. Uh, we Zoom like once a week. Yeah, we've always had a pretty good relationship. I would say I have a great relationship with my parents. Come to California from Hong Kong, and I love them very much. Guys, what do you feel about I don't think this? Ryan is a psychopath. I think he's just more reserved than the rest of the bunch. Ryan? Yes. Have you um, ever seen like a therapist or a psychologist? No. Never? Never. Why? Um, I, was, I was just curious. He's wearing a suspicion on his sleeve right now. So I also wanted to ask Rose and Tommy the same thing. Yes. I'm in therapy. I just don't know. I'm so clueless. I'm curious actually like if everyone is currently in therapy or has ever been to therapy. Because I am in it and have been. No. I never have. Never. Can I ask why just us three though? All right, time's up. I want each of you guys to step forward and tell me who you think is the psychopath. Back, I heard a rumor that if you don't check on the toilet paper after you wipe, it's a psychopath tendency. Thoughts? My grad school training did not go over that. Bye, Ryan. Bye. All right, so now everybody that I personally sussed out as a psycho is gone, except for Rose. But now I'm kind of thinking Akaraj may be the guy. All right, we're moving into round five, the final round. I'm going to leave the floor open to you guys for the next five minutes. Can I ask something? Can we just do like a rapid fire, like yes or no? We'll start, Tommy. Have you lied today? No. 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 Never lie. No. <laughs> I am not. I am not. How trustworthy do you think you are as a person? You said you don't trust anybody. Unfortunately, I have gone through many situations in life where I was too trusting. And everyone else? I trust everybody. I'm cool with everybody. I'm mostly trusting. Yeah, I'd say mostly trusting. I think especially like friends and things like that. It's pretty open. I kind of have like some trust issues, but for the most part, like I think that everyone like can do no wrong. Well, I'll be the honest one and say, I trust nobody. <laughs> if you could choose to like hang out with like a group of friends or hang out by yourself, what would you choose? Friends. One person. Close friends. Mostly friends, but every once in a while I do need my alone time to like recharge my batteries, so. Same, 50-50. I, I like a group. <laughs> You're thriving, we can tell. You thrive. And you? Uh, yeah, I think balance of both. Like sometimes I like to go see a movie by myself, just take a little bit of time, but I like hanging out a group. All right, time's up. This is your last chance to vote out who you think the psychopath is. <laughs> no way! They all voted for Jay. <laughs> Why Jay? It all just sounded so good, and I'm sure he's a wonderful person, but it could all have been bullshit, so. When I spoke to him and I asked him how he would take care of me, it kind of gave me flashbacks of like an ex. Probably had like some narcissistic things. It's time for the final reveal. Oh my, I'm too excited. <laughs> Sorry, Hope. Should we hold hands? Will the psychopath, the person diagnosed with antisocial personality disorder, please step forward? No, I'll stay here. Oh! No! The most fun part was if I didn't vote for myself in the last round, it would have been a tie and I could have talked my way out of that too. I am blown away. Jay, how much of what you said today was a lie? Every single thing. <gasps> Jay, uh, when were you diagnosed? 20 years ago. I was getting arrested too often, not for underage drinking. Um, they put me on Zoloft and made my stung stomach upset. And then I just thought every shrink I met was an asshole just trying to sell me pills. So I don't go, I don't do any of them. Jay, I have a question. What was life like after you were diagnosed? Did it change at all for you? No, just getting old does. You don't change the way you think. If you know something's wrong and you want to fix it, go find someone that fix it.